Welcome back students, this is your Chandu Gaud. In this video, I am going to cover certain important concepts related to the course fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines under R18 as well as R16 regulation. J and U H, I mean the FMHM subject for mechanical engineering students. Dear students, the course is all about uh, a bit of theory and maximum part is going to cover derivations as well as problems. You need to work out all the problems related to the concept which I am going to explain in this video and I am going to give certain important questions from which you need how many questions you are going to cover. The first and foremost question I can give you is this may be one of the gunshot question like the physical properties of the fluid. Physical properties of the fluid and the problems related to it as well as the relations among them may be also asked sometimes. Later the differences between the dynamic as well as kinematic viscosity as well as the problems related to it is also asked many times and they may be asking you a problem related to the surface tension as well as the difference between cohesion and adhesion forces and the various methods used for measuring pressure by fluid. From this part we can expect 1A as well as 1B dear students and without skipping the problems on physical properties you need to work out each and every term there. Later the capillarity and the problems related to it and the expression of capillarity fall and rise is also the very important question and let prove that the pressure is same in all directions at a point in a static fluid is also one of the important and gunshot question and one more gunshot question I can give you is related to the manometers and their differences and the problems related to the manometers is also one of the very very important which can be covered in 2B and sometimes a small definition and the differences between solids versus fluids as well as Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids and the problems are much awaiting in your question paper the exam. This is all about 2A as well as 2B students. You need to work out very neatly all the concepts which I am going to let you know. And the third and fourth question I am going to let you know is all about the classification of flows like laminar flow, turbulent flow, 1D, 2D flow as well as uh, uh, the steady and unsteady flow, rotational and irrotational flow, these may be the different types of flows, they may be asking you the definitions later. The continuity equation for 1D as well as 2D in the Cartesian coordinate and is also one of the gunshot question where you are supposed to work out the expression and the problems related to it and there may be specific terms like to define streamline as well as stream tube path line as well as streak lines is also very important if it is asked for a 5 mark on the problem or a derivation related to the continuity equation may be the 3A as well as 3B dear students and the much awaiting and very very important question is all about the derivation of Bernoulli's equation from the Euler's equation of motion as well as to work out the problems on it as well as the limitations or a momentum equation and the problems or the forces on pipe bend is also one of the very very important and gunshot questions which is asked from 4A as well as 4B I mean from the second unit as per the COVID pattern 8 questions will be asked of which you are supposed to work out any 5 questions of which 1, 2, 3 units will be covered 6 questions I am expecting from the 4th unit uh, 2 questions from this time instead of the 3rd unit later the 5th and 6th question I am going to cover is all about the methods to prevent the separation of boundary layer is also one of the very important and gunshot question and the characteristics along a thin plate related to the laminar as well as turbulent boundary layer and the drag and lift of the submerged objects as well as the flow nozzles and the problems related to these concepts you are going to expect the question 5A as well as 5B dear students and the working principle of Venturi orifice rotometer and the problems related to is also one of the very very important question and the gunshot question. Dear students if you work out it this will be the very easy one and the rotometer is also very easy to understand and do not uh, write your answer in paragraph try to write only in points and carry pencil to draw the diagrams. Later the problems related to the minor losses in the pipes like sudden contraction as well as sudden extraction as well as the find the discharge I mean the Q in the pipes may be also one of the very very important and gunshot questions and the expression related to the minor losses in the pipes is also very important and derived Darcy's Westback equation uh, using a Reynolds experiment. Reynolds experiment and Darcy's Westback equation will be getting the head loss and the problems related to it and there may be certain times problems 
problems as related to pipes in series and parallel as well as they may be asking you the significance of um, hydraulic gradient line as well as total energy line. These are very very important questions you need to work out each and every concept why because 30 marks will be covered from the unit 3, unit 2, uh, 30 as well as unit 130 they may be asking any part of the question dear students please do work out accordingly and clear this subject in a single attempt as the covid pattern is very easy to score good marks and pass if you read at least three units or a minimum of uh, two units per hundred percent whichever the concepts i told you are supposed to work out each and every point without skipping so that you can cover two questions from every unit later i have taken into consideration unit 5 directly why because unit 4 is all about the turbines and it is too lengthy in structure as you got less time to work out so you can work out this related to the centrifugal pump classification as well as the working principle with a neat sketch as well as the work done expression on impeller as well as define the terms like static head barometric head or a static suction head or discharge head as well as total static head as well as nphs net pressure suction head may be also one of the very very important question related to the centrifugal pump and the performance characteristic curves may be asked i am expecting this question for sure and the problems related to centrifugal pump this is the eighth question in your question paper or a reciprocating pumps and the problems related to it as well as the working principle as well as double acting reciprocating pump problems will be asked many times and to work out the quotient of discharge or slip as well as per percentage slips for a double acting reciprocating pump and the avitation as well as the effects of cavitation these all are the gunshot and very important question dear students which you are going to get for sure at the minimum of seven questions from this all the concepts which i have told you all the seven questions will be covered from these concepts you need to perfect at least to clear with a minimum of two units or to score a good mark you need to work out the four three units dear students hope you will perform well in the exam good luck and if you are looking for any other course please do comment subscribe to my channel for latest notifications as well as do share with your friends good luck and god bless you all thank you